All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc Primitive Plus on the Gaming Evolve server. And today we're going to be doing some awesome things involving bread. <laughs> I think today we're probably going to make some bread. I want to check out the bread. Um, we got a bunch of crops up here growing. I've actually went ahead in the in the background, like between episodes, and I've actually gone ahead and just planted every single crop in here besides the the actual like arc crops. What are these tea leaves? Okay, they look kind of cool actually. Um, I haven't planted like citronol and all that, you know those ones, I have not planted those yet. But I've planted everything else just to get a head start on some of the stuff. Why is this one not working? Oh, I didn't put fertilizer in that one, are you kidding me? I'll have to do that at some point. But uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of wheat over here already. Um, we have 78 in here and we have... How much do we have in here? Uh, probably less, yeah, 57 because like I had all these going before I actually planted out the other ones. So like, let me see. Oh, we probably have tons of grapes at this point. 73, and there's obviously less in this one. How much do we have? 57. Okay, so pretty much the exact same um, on some of the crops that take longer, like the uh, the wheat and then the grapes. But everything else is grown in here. We got a bunch of the sugar cane as well. 150 basically in that one here, and we have 150 in this one as well. So we have like a, a bunch of crops going at this point, and it's absolutely amazing. The greenhouse looks really cool over this end especially, with all the crops going really high up in the air like that. Looks amazing, but today we're mostly going to be focusing on the wheat, and uh, we're going to need to uh, to start making some other things, and like getting some other little crafting benches to actually get all this wheat done. Now we can go ahead, and I think, where can you do it? Is it in here? Yeah, you can do it in here. You can make a sack of flour inside of here using 20 dried wheat. And I don't really want to do that. I want to do it a different way. There is a, a, like a giant windmill type thing that we can make, which I'll show you guys now in a minute. From here, where do we go? Fresh dough. So we, yeah, we do that all in here. Okay, cool. So like there's a bunch of different things to actually making bread. So we have to first of all start by growing the wheat. Next, what we can do is we can either put it into here and make that, or we can make a windmill. So let me just go mill. Okay. So we need 40 steel. Okay, well, that's quite a lot, actually. Holy crap. 40 steel, 200 uh, wooden planks, and 120 wood for that. Okay, let's grab all that. So steel. Where do I have my steel? Steel? There it is. Okay. By the way, guys, if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. And it's raining again. What is with the rain on this server? Alright, I think I have it. Um, where is the... Is it 200, I said? I think it was 200, and then 120 of this, I think. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Craft one of these. Now, basically, this is kind of like, I guess, a chemistry bench type thing? Maybe? I don't really know. Essentially, what it can do is, it if you put oil into it, it can just mill... Like, it can grind up, like, uh, the crystal into salt. Um, what is it again? The wheat into, like, the grain or whatever, and then something else. I can't remember what else it was. It's probably something that is in here, I guess. Oh, what is that? Ground cashew. Okay, well, yeah, let's not look it out right now. <laughs> Getting distracted. So, let's place this guy out here. Um, maybe just up along the side of the house. How big is it? Oh my god, that thing's big. Oh, that's cool! Oh, that is awesome! I didn't know it was, like, that big. I thought it was, like tiny little thing. Oh, that is amazing looking. Okay, let's place that like right there. That thing looks awesome. Oh, if only it was like a little bit taller so it would like go over the house and be able to, you could like spot it from like out there or something. I don't know. So let me see. So you've got to put crude oil into this thing to make it work and then you can just drop the stuff in and it just does it automatically. You don't have to like hit craft or anything. So that's pretty cool. What we're going to do today is, um, if I can find my RG, is it this one? Are you the white one? I still haven't went went around and actually uh, got the names on these guys, but I gotta do that at some point soon. Um, I've just been really busy, <laughs> so today I think we're probably gonna go out and in the search of like oil. I don't know where the best spot is. I think there's some in the winter biome, but I'm not exactly sure. What I might do is just pull up like a map and uh, like a resource map and then just see where oil is because I know there's a bunch in the water, but I don't want to go diving because I don't have any water dinos. And I feel like that would just be a mistake going into the water. Um, I'd probably end up dying and losing a bunch of stuff. So don't really want to be doing that now, do I? So uh, yeah, I think we're going to head over to the winter, winter biome here and uh, maybe search for some oil. I think there is actually, you know what? I think there is some just on the edge of the redwoods in the winter biome, maybe. 
I don't know. We're gonna head over there, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys over there, because this Archie is super slow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute, and uh, hopefully we'll have some oil. Alright guys, so we're kind of on the edge of the winter biome here. Actually, I gotta check this little thing here. What is this? Doesn't look like there's anything up there. Okay, <laughs> just have to check anyway. Uh, this RG is so, so slow. I need to, uh, I need to hatch up that egg. I have an RG egg between this one and my other RG. And, uh, I kind of feel like I need to hatch up that egg at this point to get a slightly faster RG without having to pump a bunch of points into speed. Um, because we can imprint him. Although, actually, you know, I don't have any kibbles, so that might be an issue. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, I think, I don't know. I believe there is oil up here. Um, I don't know, because I've, like, I've played on the center in modded and I believe like when I was up here one time with like an Anki or something I believe I found oil I don't even know let's have a look um I might be wrong though oh this is a fail is that oil uh, it looks like oil it might be a rock though I'm not exactly sure hopefully there's no dire wolves around here what are you oh it is oil oh and there's metal here too holy crap um I thought it was further up though all right is there any dire wolves because I'm super scared I don't want to die <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oh no, get away. All right, are we good? I think we're okay. Let's get some of this stuff going here. Crude oil. We got lots of this stuff, holy crap. All right, let's dump this on here. Um, and I guess we can just drop the wood and we don't really, or on the stone and we don't really need the, uh, the wood there either. Um, okay, let's see. Is there any more? I mean, there was some right there, so I imagine there's some more around here too. A lot of dire wolves. Um, actually, we might keep our eye out for a dire wolf. I don't even know if I want a dire wolf, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Let's have a look. Uh, we got two oil nodes right here. Let's just get rid of this tree here, if I can. No, I can't, apparently, so it's fine. I just wanted to have some visibility here in case dire wolves attacked. Let's just break up this node right here. Nice. Okay, and then we'll get this one, too. Um, okay, so we got plenty of this stuff already. Um, I don't know exactly how much we're going to need. I don't know how fast it burns through all of it as well. So uh, let's have a look for some more. I reckon there probably is some more here. I mean, we found a little bit. There's there's bound to be a little bit more. Like, it's not just three nodes, would it be? I don't even know. It's a lot easier. Oh, there's some. It's a lot easier to find the stuff on the island because it's all up along the coast. You can see tons of nodes from like, if you find one, you'll find like a hundred pretty much. Um, I just feel on the center, it's a little bit more difficult and you have to actually go into the water or else you have to travel really far. Because like the center is a massive map and it's, oh my God, like it's sometimes it's actually a stress having to go across the map. Like right there, that took me ages to get across. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel like I need like a really fast dino to just like scale this whole map in like just a couple minutes or something. I don't know. Let's have a look. Is there any obsidian as well actually? If there was some obsidian that would be pretty amazing. I don't think there is though. I think it only spawns on Skull Island and that other spot. The, the Volcano Island and then the other little mini Volcano Island whatever the hell that is. I don't think obsidian spawns anywhere else really. Okay, there's some bad guys around here I can see. Some RGs and- Oh, there's penguins! I didn't know penguins had- I don't know, What are you doing up here? Oh, what- Oh no, I'm dying of cold! Oh my god, I completely forgot! How did I forget? Oh no! We gotta get out of the winter biome for a minute. Uh, we, we can head down here, I reckon, to just regen a little bit. I am actually- Holy crap, I'm so close to dying here. That was idiotic. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Man, I don't know why. I, what's my fortitude at? Oh, I only have 10 fortitude, that's why. Oh man, okay. The screen's not going red either. But I'm getting that, like, beepy. Why am I getting the beepy without the screen going red? And I, it looks like I might actually die here, holy crap. How is it still cold over here? I might actually die. Oh no, we're okay. We're kind of into the clear here a little bit. Are we? St we're still not, we're not going down in health anymore, are we? I am? Why am I still- oh no, it's cold here. <laughs> there was like an- I was snowflaked a second ago, now I'm ice cubed. I don't even know. I might actually die here. Ugh. Give me health back, please. No, I should've went this way, no! 
Okay, we're, what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put my RG onto neutral and just prep to die here. Let's transfer all my items. What's my health at? I bet, like, I have quite high health, so I think I should be fine for the moment. Let me just keep flying here. I'm gonna put him over here where I think he'll be okay. What's my health at? Alright, we're at like 14, holy crap. Might I be able to get in the clear? I don't think so. Alright, let me just transfer all the rest of my stuff over here. And my armor as well. Let me just land him. Make sure he's on neutral. Um, I gotta put my armor in there too. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I'm gonna get over here. I'm probably have, gonna have to bring my other RG. Can I spawn anywhere near there, I wonder? Winter, snow south. That's actually kind of close. I could spawn there and maybe run over. Uh, if I spawn on the coast, it's gonna be a lot easier. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna probably die on the way as well from the cold. Uh, whereabouts are we? I don't even know. I don't know the center that well. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, we're actually really close. Holy crap. Um, oh, what's that? <gasps> is that an alpha or something? Does that thing looks red. What is that? What is that? That thing right up there in the corner. I'm like walking this way because I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Um, I'm gonna run this way though. Oh, we're super close to the RG. This is amazing. Um, oh no! <gasps> okay, we're okay. We're still okay. We, uh, we can get over here without, uh, running out of stamina. We're gonna be fine. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back and get my RG, and, uh, hopefully not die. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are back, and it's actually been a few days. <laughs> I recorded the first two bits of this episode before the update, and this, right now, it is, what is it, like, Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday today, and that was on, like, what? I think that was on, like, Saturday or something when I recorded the start of this, so. Uh, yeah, it's been a little while, but uh, I did manage to get my uh, my RG, and I managed to fill them up with oil and everything here. So we got plenty of that stuff. We've got plenty of that just to keep around, and actually, you know what? <laughs> It's been a couple days, so I completely forgot. We were actually going to build something else here. Uh, do I have it learned? Let me see. Um, oil. Oil tank. Where do we craft that? Construction table. Okay. We're going to make one of these oil tanks um, because these things are like, it's kind of just a little storage box for oil, essentially. It's, where is it? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, we need fresh cement and we need steel ingots. Uh, where do we keep our steel again? Was it in here? I think it was. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, we gotta make some more of this stuff actually because we're kind of running a little bit low on it and uh, that's gonna be an issue pretty soon. Let's grab some uh, cement. So how many, how many do I get from one of these again? I think I got like 15 or something like that, something crazy. So probably two of them, right? Yeah, one more. Let's go with that. Nice. And then we could just turn the rest of that into um, some ramps or something, I, I guess. It's best to just use it because it spoils pretty quick. Let's grab that and chuck it into here. Get one of these guys going. We might even make two of these. I'm not even, well, we don't have enough steel, but uh, I'm not sure like how, how much they hold, like how much oil they can hold. We have a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I really gotta like organize some of this stuff. It's everywhere. I just have stuff absolutely everywhere. What can we make with five cementing? Uh, paste stuff. We can make... Yeah, we'll go with a ceiling. <laughs> we could just waste one, I guess. Alright, so let me see. Uh, let's pop this on the old hotbar right here. Nice. And let's chuck it out here. So I'm thinking, like, up along the side of the house or something. Oh my god, that thing's big. Holy crap. Let me see the actual size of it. Whoa! Holy crap. I thought it would be, like... A little thing, but this thing's freaking massive, man. Oh, man. Okay, uh, where are we gonna put it, I guess? Maybe over here? <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it would be smaller. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, it's not, yeah, it's not that big, I guess. Whoa. Trippy. Alright, let me see. Um, well, first of all, I can see it's not straight that way, so let's try and straighten that up a little bit. It's a little bit better. Right up against the wall. Yeah, that looks good actually. Um, I think it's a little bit off. Just slightly. 
There we go. That looks good. So, um, I'm, yeah, I guess like right here, maybe let's center it with the, between those two walls right there. So here we go. Let me see. How much do you hold? 100. Okay. Well, that is actually a nice little addition to the side of the house here. That looks really good, actually. I like that. Um, okay, so where's the RG? Let us uh, pop in some oil then. Okay. Um, let's hope, hop over here. Uh, why am I on top of... Th okay, I was falling and then I'd already hit E. Alright, let's grab out some oil then. Um, I don't think we can carry all this, so let's just grab a good bit. Chuck that into here. Now, luckily this stuff doesn't spoil or anything, because when I thought... When I heard that it was like crude oil, I was like, okay... Is that gonna like spoil into some different type of oil or something, you know? Um, so that was a little bit confusing. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's keep 100 on us here. Actually, wait, no, we have a small stack, 84. Let's keep that for here. So we got plenty of oil here. That is really nice. I like all these different storage containers. Now, it may seem like a bit of a nuisance having to have like a bunch of different storage containers for like everything, but I think it's really aesthetic. Like, it's really nice just having like a giant oil drum that you just go to for oil specifically. Like, I can't stick anything else in there. You know, like nothing else goes in there, just oil, which is good. It keeps things organized. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at this thing then. Um, so, I guess if I just stick that in, is that going to start spinning? Aww. That sucks. It doesn't spin. <laughs> uh, wait, maybe there's something else we have to do. Let's go over here and grab some wheat. And actually, crap, I gotta check on these crops. Okay, things are still alive. I might need to get, make some more fertilizer pretty soon. Uh, actually, you know what? They have quite a lot left. Actually, wait, no, I have a bunch inside of here. I made up, like, a huge amount of this stuff. I think I've used it all, though. Oh, I have, like, a little bit. Crap. Okay. <laughs> so we got a crap ton of wheat here. Let's grab that, and let's grab this as well. Let's just take half of that. I'll just leave half in there just in case there's something that I need it for. Um, I don't really want to put myself out there with like absolutely no wheat if we ever need it. So let's uh, drop this stuff into here. So we drop this in here and then... What? Why won't that go in? What? No! What? I thought that could go in. It says on the wiki you can go in there. Are you kidding me? Did we just waste so much time doing... How do we get it to become dried wheat? Um. <laughs> uh, this is great. This is fantastic. I, I love. I love how I have to. Um, <laughs> I love how I have to look up stuff halfway through an episode. Now, from what I gathered, I thought I could just put it in, but apparently I have to dry it. So maybe we do that into an like we do that in an oven or something. Dried wheat. Okay. Um. Ah, crap. Okay. <laughs> so we have to put fresh wheat into a preserving campfire with spark powder. So th this is gonna be a little while, guys. Oh my god. Do we have any spark powder? It wouldn't be in there. What am I doing? It would be in here. Spark powder? No. Spark powder? No. Any at all? Oh yeah, we have we have a crap ton in here. Nice. Actually, you know what? Let me just go out here and just check on this guy here. Yeah, let's drop some in there. Nice. And I'll drop that in. I'll take that. Awesome. Okay. Well, this is going to be great. <laughs> so we have to stick this stuff in here now. Uh, is that timer good? Okay. So is that on? I think it's working. Right. So this is going to be going for a while then. Apparently, it takes 20 minutes to turn 20 wheat into dried wheat. Great. <laughs> oh, I wish I had known this. I would have done this the other day. Uh, okay, well, we'll be back in a little bit. I might just do some stuff in the background here. Maybe watch a TV show or something. <laughs> just like, I'm basically just waiting around now. Uh, that is silly. Okay, well, we'll be back in a little bit, and I might as well take the oil out of here. Okay guys, so we are back and uh, it's actually been a little while here, um, I kind of just went off and I just basically left my character in there, just went off and uh, did some stuff, walked my dog and whatnot, but uh, we have a lot of this stuff and actually, you know what, some of you may, be, may have already been screaming at me in the comments, but um, don't worry, I thought about it, <laughs> we have another one of these, make it a little bit quicker, oh man, we have 60 in here, holy crap, nice, okay, so we have 160 of this stuff, let us throw it into here and see what happens. We have to grab the oil first, though. 
Um, let's just grab five out because it seems to just automatically use it. We don't want to just waste oil. Let's throw that in there. So apparently it takes like 15 seconds or something to actually make the uh, the wheat. Oh, there we go. we've already got it. Oh man, that only makes two. Wow, holy crap. Am I even gonna get enough for today? Sack of flour. It's not wheat. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I don't even know if that's gonna be enough for today. I'm. I'm gonna. I might have to wait longer. <laughs> okay. Hopefully this is gonna be enough. That's gonna be like, what is that? Sixteen uh, sacks of flour. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully that's gonna be enough here. We'll see. So let us have a look at the next step here, cause like I looked at all this the other day, and then like it kind of just came out of my head <laughs> in the meantime. So what do we need now? Um, sack of flour. The best part that they should do, like, something really, really smart that they should do for the, um, for the Primitive Plus. They should actually make, like, custom notes. You know, you know the way you can find, like, the little, like, Rockwell notes and stuff? They should make, like, custom notes that actually, you know, that it would actually tell us, like, how to, how to do all this stuff. Because I just don't even know. Like, there's no easy way of figuring it out. So I think we go to the Baker's Oven next. Let me have a look here. Um, so we take... Okay, so we gotta put that into the... Wait, hang on. Okay, so we can put five five sacks of flour and a water container into the cauldron, and that would make five uh, natural yeast, okay? And then we put a sack of flour and a natural yeast in the cooking table, and that would make five fresh dough. Okay, so we need to work this out then. We can make... If we make... If we put five in, okay... Uh, did that go in? No? What? Oh, wait, no, it's meant... Wait, am I in the right one? Oh, no, that's meant to be in the cauldron. Never mind. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Five in, okay? That's gonna make us five yeast. And uh, now we need one yeast and one sack of flour... Per fresh... Per five fresh dough. So if we put in... Ten of these, that's gonna get us ten... Um natural yeast and that means that we can only make a couple of these so yeah that's we're gonna have to stick in 10 um and we should make we should be able to make 30 fresh dough i believe yeah that sounds right okay let's get this thing lit up here okay um actually you know what i can go ahead and grab these out um and we might as well actually grab some more of this stuff out while uh well we got a second here because we can chuck it in and get that going as well let me go get some Takes twenty sugarcane to make the uh, the sugarcane seed or whatever it's called. Let's hop up here. It's in the back, right here. Oh man, we got lots of this stuff now. Wait, I thought we had one hundred and fifty the other day. Where did did we not get more? Did we actually not? Okay. Or did I use it? I don't even know. All right. Well, I can see that we're gonna be like we're gonna have like a stack of eighteen here. So uh, I gotta chuck this back in here. Maybe it doesn't produce more than what we have here. That would make sense. Let me chuck this in here. So bam, bam, bam. We're gonna need some more firewood. Oh, look, we got the yeast. 15 so far. Oh, that's going a little bit quicker. Wait, what? Oh, it does it as like, what? This is five sacks of flour. Gives me, so wait, we gotta figure out the proper conversion now. Um, If we take that out right now, actually, do they spoil? No. That means that we can make um, 60 flour. Uh, it says five, fla five sacks of flour and a water container makes you the five natural yeast. So I don't really understand. They seem to have the wiki a little bit wrong here. So uh, we can use all this stuff now in the cooking table. Let's chuck this crap in here. That's the fresh dough. So it takes one of each, so we can make 60 of that then. So while that's cooking up, let's go fill up on some water. Um, I'll chuck that one in. And let's go fill these guys up in the river. Oh, this is cool though. I like I like the kind of, you know, step-by-step -step kind of crafting. It's, it kind of feels like Minecrafty for some reason. I don't know why. Let's uh, throw this back now. All right, so. Pop this guy back in here. We probably should already have all the other stuff now. How's it doing? 
Yeah, it's crafting up pretty quick here. Oh, that stuff spoils quick though. Uh, we gotta we gotta throw that in somewhere. So where do we put the fresh dough then? Okay, so we put the fresh dough uh, in a lit oven, the baker's oven, and it produces the bread. Or we can put it with some honey to produce some baked honey loaf. So we can do that. Um, we have some honey in here actually. Uh, let's grab out 30 of those. So here's the baker's oven. Let's make some honey bread because we have 60. Let's make 30. Uh, let's use 30 on the normal bread and 30 on some honey bread. So how many honey does it take? It takes one per. Okay, well we got plenty of honey so this should be pretty good. We might need to grab some more uh, fuel though. Uh, I'm not gonna, it's gonna run out. I know it will. Does it take wood? Uh, oh no, no! <laughs> Give me that. Let's go. No! <laughs> oh. Alright, that I reckon we're probably gonna lose one. Let's grab this stuff out as soon as it's ready. Okay. So we still have plenty of that natural yeast as well. How's this stuff going? Is this not done yet? What, do, what else do we need for that? I thought we just needed that stuff. Do we need something else? Um, I need some more firewood for the thing anyway. Where do I have the firewood? Oh crap, maybe I don't have any. Oh, I have some here. <laughs> Scared me a little bit there. I really did. Alright, uh, well, apparently I don't know how to make sugar cane now, so... Oh man, so much stuff. Oh wait, no, I have to make this... Yeah, I'm an idiot. We have to put this into uh, this thing here, I believe. Nope. Here? Uh, yes. That's how we do it. Ugh, forgetful. There's just so much stuff to remember. It's kind of hard sometimes. So is this stuff cooking up now? Oh, look! Amazing, we got it. Um, so that's only two. Oh, wow, that's super slow. We're definitely going to lose some of that, uh, some of that dough. Yeah, that's really slow. That sucks. Alright, well, uh, let me just chuck the rest of this into here for the moment. Or maybe we can... Oh, no, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you... Uh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Let's just, uh... Um, it takes... Yeah, let's just half this. Keep getting it down. We'll put it down to 26. And then we'll stick that in there, so... That should craft up pretty quick. Maybe I might make another oven. What do they take again? Um, oven. Cover oven. Happen it. That looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's made in the cooking station. Oh wait, no, it's not. All right. So let me see. Oven. No, I reckon it's actually made inside of this thing over here. Maybe I just read that wrong. Um, oven, oven, oven. There you are. We need some. Freaking, what is it called? Iron. Easy. Got plenty of that here. And chuck that bad boy in there. Let's get one of these. Let's uh, let's make two more, just just because. And give me some wood. Nice. Okay. Making bread. All right. So let's chuck these guys in here. Hopefully we're not going to lose very much of this uh, dough. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose one at least. That really sucks. It's okay though. Uh, hopefully we can stick the, the bread into the preserving bin though. Um, this thing's kind of big actually. Can we get another one in here? Yeah, but it's a little bit of a tight squeeze over here. But it's okay. Let's stick that in there. Uh, you go in there. And let's grab out some of this stuff here. So, um... I'll take, yeah, I'll just take half. Crap, now we've just split the timer on both of them. It's okay, though. Doesn't matter. We're going to lose a little bit of this dough, but it's okay. We know for next time not to craft it all up. Did I forget to grab the other one? Yeah. And you go in there. Nice. All right, so let's have a look at the bread, then. Uh, it stacks up to five. That's pretty good. Um, this one has a really high timer on it, but this one doesn't. What? That doesn't even make sense. Alright, does this have the same timer? Yeah, it would. Alright, let's grab some of this stuff. Um, we can try and maybe put that into our little preserving house back here. Is this gonna go in? Please tell me you'll go in. Yes! Awesome, okay. Um, 
Let us, let's just put that in there for now. We'll just take one. Um, so what do we get once we eat that then? What's that going to give us is the question. So baked loaf bread and honey loaf bread. So the baked loaf will give us 50 food and 8 health. That's not bad. What does the honey give us then? 30 food and 10 health. So the honey is better for health and then the, the baked loaf bread is better for the... Um... Wait, why did it make baked loaf bread instead of the honey? What? Oh, it was making them both at the same time. Okay, that makes sense actually. <laughs> so yeah, the um, the baked loaf is better for for uh, the food, and then the honey is better for the uh, for the health, which makes a lot of sense actually, you know. So uh, let us make this a little bit quicker. If we let's just grab out ten of these, put five in there, put five in there. That should make up these guys a little bit quicker. Cool. Okay. Um, alright, well we got plenty of this stuff now. It seems like the, uh, actually, yeah, the baked loaf bread has a, has a lower timer altogether. Yeah, because I, a couple minutes ago, I didn't see the difference. And actually, I think that they should have some sort of difference, like maybe like a color difference between them or something. But, um, the baked loaf bread has a, doesn't have as good of a, um, a timer on it, which makes sense because it's food. It's mainly for food, whereas this is going to be mainly for, like, it's almost like uh, like a health potion, pretty much. It only gives you like 10 health, but still. It's kind of like a health potion. So let's wait for our food to dip down here a little bit. Um, can I eat honey, actually? What does that give me? Oh, wow, actually, that gives pretty decent food. And I have a lot of that stuff. I could just be eating honey all the time. <laughs> all right, let's... Uh, I did grab the rest of it. Let's uh, let's pop back in here and grab some of this stuff because we want it to have a, as good of a timer as, as possible. So just keep grabbing it all out here. And you, and you, and you. All right, so I will wait for all of this stuff to be cooked up and uh, then I guess we will be back. Okay guys, so we are back and I'm a little bit peckish right now and I'm, I'm kinda I'm kind of looking for a little bit of, you know, some of this honey loaf right here. Let's grab some of that. That should bring up our food a little bit and our hunger quite a bit as well. Nice. Yeah, that's really good. That's some really good bread, actually. Today has been a really good day. <laughs> we managed to make a crap ton of bread. I'd, somehow we managed to end up with, like, less of the honey bread. I honestly don't know. I, I don't know how that happened. Um, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were just making up, like, more of this bread. As it was going, I don't really know. Doesn't matter. But anyway, we uh, we have both types of bread, and we have a bunch of it in here. So we'll probably just eat some of this stuff along the way. In general, I probably won't be using this over the mushrooms. You know, I really do like the mushrooms. They taste great, and they make me see the colors. You know, so uh, we'll probably keep using the mushrooms. But it's nice to be checking out some of this other stuff here. Um, and we got plenty of this going as well and some in over here as well So if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to beat the crap out of that like button If you guys want to see more like this, you know what to do You can subscribe let me know what you think of this uh, of this little episode today because I thought it was good You know we got a lot of we got a little bit of a little bit of an adventure going and we got like a lot of cool stuff done here too. Just checking out little pieces within Primitive Plus. And we have so many more crops up there that we still have to look at. And kind of uh, like make into whatever they ha they can be by the end. Like we have like wine and beer and stuff that we can make. Uh, all that stuff is different on here. So it's really, it's, it's exciting to just think of all these awesome projects that we have. But yes, that will be it for today. So I will catch you guys next time.